guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a pantry makeover. And without further ado, let's get to it. This is my yucky, unorganized pantry um, that I am desperately in need of a makeover, obviously. I just kind of have everything just thrown in there every time I go to the grocery store. Since this is so deep in, like, it's just really, really bad structured. I can't really do anything about um, organization. So basically, I just kind of throw everything in there. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what the before looks like. This is the morning after and this is what it looks like there's so much more light coming in it looks brighter cleaner it just looks so much better not too bad for a DIY right okay so here we have basically everything for our pantry makeover and I kind of just started you know, collecting things throughout the week in different stores and online. And so also everything that you guys can see here, well, mostly everything will be linked down below. Uh, some of these things I did get like at Marshalls and Ross, so I can't link those, but I will try to find things that are similar for you guys. And the whole vibe that I wanted to aim for really is kind of white, clean, um, a couple of natural pieces and stuff like that. So we got our pop-up containers that I'm so excited to use. I've always wanted these were from Costco. They were on a sale. I believe I got them for like $45, which is a bomb ass deal um, because these are normally priced $100 so that's awesome i don't think i'm gonna be using all of them i got five sets and a set of two uh cereal containers so i don't know i i feel like i'm only gonna be needing like maybe three we'll see here we got our acrylic absorbents and some of these i got at the container store and the others i believe i got them at ross yeah these little storage bins and i got these five below yeah I got them at five below and then these little ones five below as well and then I think this one was from Ross yeah Ross and these little tiny ones are from the dollar store and I got these just for like miscellaneous just extra little herbs or whatnot and then these have to probably be my favorite items of all there are these glass containers with the wood tops and these look so bomb you guys oh my god i'm planning on filling them up with oats and then a flower and then one with um cocoa mix i'm gonna be printing out some labels they're gonna look so cute we got some straw bins so from five below a plain white bowl a little fish style bowl and then these two i already had also this little acrylic cup which I already had. I got these cute little storage racks from Amazon. And then this one I got from Hobby Lobby. This storage bin from Marshalls. And, oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> got these as well at Marshalls. I just put them in there. I totally forgot about them. But yeah. Um, these are probably going to be for like the cans and this one is probably going to be for like the chile and stuff like that because I currently have it in a bag and it's just not working for me. And then this, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. It's a utensil tray I believe, but I don't know. I was kind of thinking of putting like, of getting another uh, one of these fish bowls and just kind of putting stuff in there. I think that would look cute with two of these, but... We'll see. I got this little bath caddy, which I thought was really cute from Target. And I think it was like in the dollar section. Don't quote me, but I think, or in the bath section. I don't remember, but it was not It was like three bucks. I don't know if I'm gonna be using this in my bathroom or under the sink or in the pantry for something, I don't know. Um, I know I'll be using it for something, you know, so. 
Oh, and then I got this from Marshalls. And then these glass containers with the wood tops, which I'm really, really excited for too. They're super, super cute. We could put like pasta in here and like rice, beans, all that good stuff. If you guys have ever looked in Pinterest, um, these look so pretty. Well, hopefully mine will kind of look a little Pinteresty. They are just so beautiful. Super, super excited for that too. And then over here, we got these baskets from Target. These two are from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection. I really, really love the leather handles. It's so, so pretty. And then that one down there, I got it at five below. And I feel like this white is just a little too blue tone for me. So I'm gonna be going in with a different like warmer white and gonna be painting that too. So st stay tuned for that. And then I don't know if I'm gonna be using this in the pantry or not, or maybe just for like Mia's toys and her leash and stuff like that. But I thought it was super cute. Um, can't remember how much this was. Hold on, let me check the price. This was $5, but it's super, super cute. And again, this is from Five Below. Another thing that I'm really, really excited for are these spice containers. And I got the inspo from Pinterest, of course. They do have the best ideas ever. And this one comes with labels already for the top because of the, the spice racks. I actually want to print off square labels like the other glass containers. And I think those are gonna look so cute. You guys will see what I'm talking about though. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start washing all of the containers so I can put the food inside. Scrub a dub dub, nothing new, just cleaning away some dishes. This is very, very time consuming, but it's so much better if you put your food in them when you know that they are clean and everything because. Um, whenever I did open these at first, they had like a little plastic smell to them and it was kind of gross, honestly, but they smell like nothing now. They basically, they just smell clean. So that's that. I can start with the fun part, putting all the food in the containers. And I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but after seeing how much time I took to wash these and dry them, I can only imagine like what I'm gonna take putting the actual food in them. So wish me luck. And as much as this is fun, it is very, very tiring. My back already hurts from wiping everything down, you know, the pantry cleaning. Uh, moving stuff around, but I know everything's gonna be worth it. So it's okay Okay, so I decided to do this part in fast forward um, Just because if not you guys would be stuck here watching five hours of this and that would not be fun but yeah, I'm basically putting all the food inside the containers and getting them ready to organize Curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. I hmm? <laughs>
so it is Saturday morning. I didn't get to finish last night since we lost natural daylight. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go ahead and finish today. And I'm almost finished. I just have to put the labels on the spice containers and then just start organizing everything on the pantry. So super, super excited. I think this is probably going to be my favorite part. Um, just because the labels look so cute and I'm just so excited and so happy that I created them myself uh, with a little bit of Pinterest inspo, of course. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And here are the labels that I'm going to be cutting and placing them on these little glass containers. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made these labels, let me know down below in the comments so I can make a special video for that. We're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to go ahead and cut the labels out and just stick them on there. Okay, so here we have flour, and it's not really flour, it's maseca. I didn't have any flour on hand, so I just decided to put the maseca in there. And we got some oats and cocoa powder, which is not really cocoa powder, you guys. It's Nestle mix, chocolate powder mix for the girls' choco me. I just thought it would look cuter if it said cocoa powder. Um, so yeah, and like I said, none of this is all natural, but I really like the whole aesthetic of it. I'm wanting to order more of these because I completely fell in love with them, so I'm gonna be ordering more. Now to the fun part, organizing everything. <laughs> been so organized in my entire life like this is crazy okay so we got basically everything I still have to do the very top row and I'm thinking I'm gonna put the cans up there and like the chile box and all the miscellaneous stuff that I don't really want to look at that I don't really use on a daily basis I'm just gonna tuck that all the way up there and yeah so Okay, so we are finally done, and this is the final look. about the way that it came out it's exactly what I envisioned what I wanted and I just made it come to life you guys I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed doing it 
Um, sorry about the glare on my glasses. I know it's a little bit distracting because of the ring light. I just don't have very good natural light coming through here, so I have to use my ring light. But anyways, if you guys are planning on doing any kind of makeover, just go for it. Like, literally go for it. It's gonna make you feel so good and accomplished. There are a couple of things that I did order and that they still haven't arrived. It's a couple of produce mesh bags. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? They have like a natural color and it's just mesh and you can put like potatoes and onions and stuff in there. So that's why I didn't store my onions or my potatoes and my garlic because I was planning on putting them in the mesh bags and then just hanging them on the sides. Um, so those haven't arrived. If they arrive before I finish editing the video, then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. But yeah, that is my total pantry makeover. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I've got a lot of upcoming videos that I wanna do. So stay tuned for that. And before wrapping this video up, I do want to say everything that's here, I'm going to be linking down below. And if it's not linked, it's because I actually bought those things from like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross. Um, but I'll try to find things that are similar and link those as well. But if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. I am more than happy to help you guys. So I'm not actually going to leave these here. Yeah, right. I have no pantry doors. Um, that's not a very good idea with a toddler. So I'm going to put those snacks all the way up there. They can't reach them. I really love everything. But I think the thing that I really, really love most, they would have to be these glass jars. With the wood tops they're just so nice they look so good and with the labels it's just so dreamy like love 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 it and by the way you guys that plant down there that is so a fake plant there's no way i was gonna put a real plant in there but i just thought it would look cute for the video i might i might not keep it there i was even thinking about throwing in some pompous grass somewhere <laughs> i'm crazy i know but anyways, and then I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm going to be uh, using those baskets to throw in like the dirty rags and such because we're always using like towels and rags and all that. I try my best not to use um, paper towels too much because they're so expensive and too because it's safe for the environment, right? So... Hey guys, so it has been a couple of days since I finished doing the pantry, but I thought I would give you guys an update on the stuff that I ordered that I had mentioned that I hadn't gotten here yet. It's here now and I wanted to show you guys because I think it's super, super cute. And then I got some new stuff that I'm going to show you as well. Okay, so I actually ordered some of this stuff through Shein and one of those things was this little macrame hanging that I thought was super cute. I did think it was a little bit bigger and I was originally gonna use it for somewhere else but I thought it was just the perfect size to just hang right there so I thought it was really cute. It just gives it a little boho vibe and then also these produce mesh bags that I've been wanting forever and these were actually very inexpensive. Shein has really great stuff for really affordable prices. So you guys should definitely go check them out. This other little mesh bag I'm currently using for the garlic and also could be used for like apples, um, oranges, stuff like that. Okay, and then another thing I got is another little fish bowl and I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're not exactly the same. If you guys can tell, there's a slight difference in the height, uh, but that's okay, can't really tell. And that's because I got that one like Three years ago so that's fine it still looks cute I put some more tea bags in there and then I also got this cork top jar that I told you guys I was gonna go back and get more and this is for the syrup it's so cute the other one I believe I have um, some vinegar in there and then what else also got this cute little container at Hobby Lobby thought it was so stinking cute 
the wood top and it just it doesn't have anything in there right now because I'm not sure what I'm gonna be putting in there yet but I thought it was so cute and I just had to get it and then it was on sale so that was a plus oh and then also you guys I found these two little containers at Hobby Lobby as well and they look so similar to the ones that I ordered online like look at the difference and they were on sale everything that was glass was 50% off so I got these for like $2.50 for each. So five bucks for both of these, which was a really, really great deal. I found all these cool things at Hobby Lobby. You guys, they have everything. This cute little jar, and I'm thinking I'm gonna be putting honey in here. Like how cute is this with a little wood spoon? Uh, it's so adorable. I completely fell in love with it. Super, super cute, and it fits so well with the aesthetic that I'm going for here oh and then remember the basket that I painted it looks so much better with that extra white coat like it just completely transformed the whole thing um, I decided to put this on top of the laundry for stuff that I need to hand wash and then I'm thinking of going back to five below to see if I can find another one for Mia's toys because I thought it was super super cute but yeah I just wanted to update you guys with some of those extra pieces that I added I think they're so cute and they just complete the whole pantry so well I really love it the girls really love it Chui actually really loves it too I'm surprised because he's never about like home stuff or anything he's just kind of like whatever and he really liked how it turned out too so I think this is officially my most favorite part of my little trailer. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video and I hope that it's helpful for you guys that are out there trying to make over your pantry.